Yeah. We're at McDonald's. Wow. Yeah, Basa. It's not Aiden Ross. What? Aiden Ross. This is Aiden Ross. In the video. How are you doing, Ron? You guys? Are you excited? Hey, yes? go vlog Ross. He's vlogging. Are you excited? Uh, Ross. Hell are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Look, me and Ross are vlogging, guys. <laughs> Piana. Very, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, look at my food. Yeah. Alright, so we're on the bus right now. Since there's hardly anyone on, I'm gonna give you all the bus. So, here's the seat. This is where Commander is our major seat. This is my bed. Everybody else got a chair. Here's Reese. The beaners. I mean, my bad. Alright. Boy! <laughs> and then the boys oh. back here in the back. It's giving I'm ghetto. Like, I don't know what they had going on right here. Hey, Say, hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Uh, uh, March, uh, how was, what's it called? His birthday. How oh, was your birthday? Um, my Patrick. birthday ain't yeah. even here yet, bro. I no, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patty's Day, yeah. honestly. Oh. I found so much gold, really? it was all worth it. Oh. I mean, even like, did a little this Irish guy, you how do you think he got the bet? How do you think Who? he got the bet? He got oh. it from the gold. Oh. I'm gonna go back in there. Oh, he a true Irish. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> It's the hotel right there. Kind of like it. Oh, I can't be on the stupid. Hey. Made it to the hotel. Gang, gang. Yeah, 6 a.m. Oh, damn, they're all here. Okay, it's past 2200. It's already quiet time around here. That means you're not in the room jumping around, jumping on the bed, playing around because people below you. Can hear you. Boring on the first deck, no loud giggling and laughing and all that stuff. It's time for lights out. Time on deck right now is 1044. I mean 2244. And a fire watch is gonna start at 2300. Fire watch list up to date ready. Oh. 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 Alright like guys, I'm in my bed. This this hotel a little a little ratchet. Well not really, it's just a little stinky. Hey Reese, say hello Leopard. And then Leon. Woo! We in Florida, baby. That's we gotta wake up at four in the morning to do PT. Right now it's 11:01, and I gotta do night watch at what time are we doing night watch? 12? 11:30. 11:30. I might as well just shower. No, I don't know. All right, we doing night watch. Yo, what time is it? Oh, my phone clicking. 7:32. My sentence is still 12, 15. Yep. Total 10 if you ask me. I'm thinking of 12 or 5. 12 or 5, that's fine. <sighs> okay. So we're doing night watch, right? Thanks too, man. Come by, they smell like gas and funk. They stayed in the air for 10 minutes. I can't, I can't. I'm about to take this ass to bed. <laughs> she ran into the door, she said, bitch. <laughs> 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 
Yes. She just ran into the fucking. I have a. She said, Mede shit. <laughs> this is like, this is our shit. <laughs> yeah. You recorded it? <laughs> she said, Y'all do drugs. <laughs> wow, Maddie. I like your slippers. <laughs> Y'all, this is what happens when you do car watch. Blow it up. Oh, he said we don't get a break. I don't care. If it's something like that, you can have Why? Why is this song? Bad boys. 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 It's too early for this. PG. Uh, I do PT. I got like two minutes, so bye. Alright, this is me at the PT. Me! <laughs> Pooty, get that senior boy back in. You want to go ahead and get my tray for me? My wonderful best friend. Thank you. So we got on the plate some eggs, fresh toast, hash browns, some meat. Is it good? Is it good? The sun is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see. I don't think. Wait, where are we going? Alright, we're about to go get some chips. See some chips. See, like it. We, it's not what does I have that one. I know y'all don't understand what he's saying. Anyways, I'm we're about to go see some chips. It's a plane, right? Huh? It's a plane? No, it's just ships. Oh, just ships. We on the way now. We're gonna be on the Navy base. beach, look at people doing um, illegal activities. I did a lot of anti-piracy stuff off the coast of Somalia, and this is the sensor that we used to watch them hit certain trip wires when they start, you know, shoveling cocaine around. That's how we catch them doing it. Um, uh, Lieutenant Reed, the uh, LT that's taking your other group, he's one of the pilots here. Uh, so this is where they sit. We have multiple different flight displays, mission displays that can show um, what the aircraft's doing, what the uh, environment's doing, what the world around us is doing. We kind of get like a, uh, a big picture of the scene around us. It, we communicate with other aircrafts, other platforms, UAVs, um, central intelligence agencies, and things that are giving us communication so we can get all that fed to us via link systems. This is our rescue hoist, our rescue hook right here. Um, whenever we perform search and rescue, um, that's what I do. 
uh, we do, this is how we're either deployed into the water, if the water is in a, uh, it's a heavy sea state, or this is how we recover personnel. We hook them up. Our uh, ALPS airborne low frequency sonar, uh, if, believe it or not, there's this big cylinder in here that we stick into the water, we ping like a dolphin, and we look at things that are under the water. It's one of our mission sets. Uh, it's we're one of the only organic assets that the Navy has, organic me meaning that we can do all of the stuff ourselves um, that we use to, the, the Navy has to find submarines. Submarines are kind of like the next generation of warfare because they can sneak in and around th places, they can get right off the coast of whatever country they want to get to undetected. And so that's a, a huge adversarial threat that they present. So the ability for the Navy to be able to find them, fix them, track them, target, engage, and assess them is massive. Um, this is one of the assets that we use to do so. If anyone wants to crawl in, you gotta take a look. It's for someone who's six feet like myself, it's a crouch always, we're always in gear, we're always in helmets. Whoa. Wait, what's this computer? What's that? What's that? Yeah, and this is the same thing that you see up in the front. It's the same mission display. Um, there's just more electronics going on back there. There's a little bit more control over the mission systems. That's so nice. Yeah, the, the pilots were split into two different roles. There's usually a, a pilot at controls and then a tactical officer. And then for us, we usually have one person in the back who is a sensor operator who's operating the sensors. And we kind of split roles into being door gunners because uh, we shoot a 50 cal machine gun and then we shoot an M240, which is a 7.62 machine gun. Right here, this is our fisheye. It's like a wide lens camera that we use to detect different sorts of um, heat signatures, because I kind of like I was talking about earlier, all of a sudden you just see flares popping out inside of your aircraft that means somebody's shooting you. This is the lineup lights. We fly a lot at night, almost exclusively at night when we're doing missions. And at night we have to require night vision goggles. So night vision goggles, um, it's difficult to see dark aircrafts that are designed to blend in. A gray, imagine a gray helicopter on a dark night with gray skies, it's tough to see. When you're on goggles, you're looking through two tiny tubes. Um, so these actually illuminate for us. So these are how we figure out where people are. These are very bright and green under goggles. So that's one of the ways that we do it. That's how it looks on the other side. Question for you. Yes. How long have you been in the Navy? I've been in the Navy for uh, almost nine years now. Uh, this is my end of my, I'm at the end of my uh, shore duty rotation. So we join and then we do an active duty. We do like two years of training. I had to go through like the SAR school if you've ever seen The Guardian. We had to do that. And then we went through all of our different attrition schools. And then we come here. This is the final place of training that we go to um, to learn the aircraft itself. Then I did four and a half years of deployments. I deployed three times, uh, it's gone a lot. And then now I finished that time and I'm on my shore duty, which means I don't deploy. I'm just a dedicated instructor. Nine years, kind of split doing a whole lot of stuff. Anybody else have any questions while we're on that subject? Hey, what's up? Do you plan on staying all 20 years, like retiring? Um, you don't that's know. a great question. Mm -hmm. Do I plan on staying in for 20 years and doing the full retirement? Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good question. Uh, thank you for asking that. You're Put me on the spot a little bit. Maybe <laughs> part of people that shouldn't hear me. I don't know. I don't know. I go kind of. I kind of go back and forth. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of opportunity in the military, in other branches that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. um, I got to do this cool job for a long time. I got to shoot guns, and shoot people, and help people and save people. And I may be looking forward to transitioning into something a little easier on the back side of things. Uh, maybe it gets a little more pay for less work. Um, and then there's also a lot of civilian jobs. When you serve in the military, a lot of people are interested in your experience and your service and your qualifications. So civilian sector is paying well for that training. So a lot of options. I'm a first class, so that's an E6. You guys speak Navy, right? It's NJRTC, okay, yeah. So I'm a first class petty officer. Um, I made it at seven years. So I'm actually coming for chief this year. Hoping to make that. Pretty fast for nine years, right? Yeah. How'd you do it? Any advice? You know? Um, for like, I mean, one of the things that I always thought was to uh, never leave anything on the table. So if any opportunity comes up, you take it. Um, never miss an opportunity for training. Never lose, miss an opportunity for experience. Um, any school that they want to send you to. This goes for like any any life experience. Mm -hmm. It's just like if it, if the opportunity comes up, take it. If you're given the opportunity to do something for free, like college for free take it. Don't miss it. Um, so, yeah, I was, you work long hours, but you do it while you're young because it's easier to do it then than it is to do it when you're older. Mm -hmm. I have kids now, I've got two kids, and 
trying to navigate this part of life is more difficult now with kids who are growing up than it is when they're younger. So. Another side too, if anybody wants to go ahead and do that, they can. <laughs> go on the other side. Wait. Go on the other side. Bro, oh, this looks dangerous. It's like a video game, pilot. <laughs> This is so cool and fabulous. I did not even put flash on. Why is it flash? Where's, where's your brother? We're gonna play not in the sky. We wear this helmet for like day in day out stuff. We have. Hi right, guys, we're going to look out the way. The people behind you. You guys know that one? Transmission fluid dripping on my head, oh. so it's dying orange. That's, yeah, wow. it's leaking, it's got oil here. So, when we go in the water and it's like very cold, a dry suit you guys know what a wetsuit is, like what a surfer wears. Mm -hmm. So, when the water's, water's nice, that's what I'm gonna get into. But this is like a James Bond type thing. When I go in the water, the water doesn't touch me at all. Have you ever seen the James Bond where he's wearing the suit and he unzips and it's completely dry? That's a dry suit, the water doesn't touch you at all. Oh. It stays completely away from you, and then you can wear like a sweater underneath it, and you're nice and warm. Mm. So we get into the water the other day. I had to sit in the water. It was 54 degrees. I had to sit in for six hours. It wasn't fun. That's like hypothermic conditions if you're by yourself for like 30 minutes. So this is nice. This is good stuff. Uh, it's very tight. This is fitted to my neck. It slips around my neck, and then it squeezes the living crap out of me. And then I said the same thing with my wrists. We have a black one. We have a rescue orange one, and we had a couple other ones. We have both like and stuff. This is just my black one. If we were doing a mission, and we had to fly over water that was cold, like I, when I was talking about going into the northern Russia, that's in the Arctic Ocean, uh, I had to wear this every single day for months on months at a time. That was rough. If anybody else wants to throw on my gear? PowerPoint. <laughs> Lopez bedded down like a roach. Well, you can't. You were out here for She's PAO, playing. guys. She loves to take photos. Changing the pitch right there. Look, look, look. Change it, change it. He just disconnected the engine. Disconnected? Uh, we're on our way to get some lunch. Just finished that. It was fun. Got to know a lot about aviation, which I'm interested in. We're back at the Navy. Oasis Gallery. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi. Yo. Say hi. Hey. I see you. Good. The slow motion. This is what our lunch is looking like. Got some fish, spinach, rice, cauliflower, good salad, some fruit. Sweet bacon, rice, yeah. Yeah, no tea food's not that bad. I'm gonna dig in and find out. Just got done eating and I was about to go. 
Risa hated the vlog. <laughs> Y'all, she's had an off day. Started off rough. Now you gotta see that part of the video, but she don't like BT. I go look at these boats, y'all. These ships. Ooh, look at that view. Forgive this Farragut. I'm in charge of the ship's life cycle. Uh, I have served both my tours on the Farragut. I've had 12 years of service in total. Uh, I've been on the Farragut for about four years. I got here in November 2020. I'm rotating out in about June. All right. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Ensign Stucker. I'm a turbines officer on USS Farragut, which means I'm in charge of the generators on board. Uh, I actually did engineer RDC when I was in high school. I did it in Long Island, New York. After that, I commissioned out of the United States Merchant Marine Academy in 2022, and I've currently been on board for a little bit over a year. Good afternoon. I'm Ensign Cooper. I graduated from the Naval Academy. I'm the electrical safety officer on board. So all that means is I'm in charge of all the electrical equipment, anything we plug into the ship. Not that great. But when it does work, it works. Um, and also, if you guys know what a hot gun is, basically, you might Shipping by the age of nine, we ended his first ship by the age of 12. Y'all realize how young that is? How old are y'all? 14? 15? So he's commanding a ship before he was your age, right? You're just now going through school, so that, I think that's pretty cool. It's something to talk about. Uh, we got four gas turbine jet, three gas turbine generators, four uh, GTMs with gas turbine. It's a freaking crap, man. I can explain. There All right, go. so on board we have. Four GTMs, so all the, the, all the propulsion on the ship, how the ship goes forward, all the ship goes backward, that's all gas turbines. So similar to what we have on an airplane, same kind of thing. Same type of turbine, it goes like this. And then also for our generators, so how we get power on board, we have three uh, we have three GTG, three generators. So they're located in different parts of the ship. Um, ultimately, you'll see when we get on board that everything is very compartmentalized, and that's in case we ever take battle damage, you want to be able to secure a space. Because ultimately, you can lose the space, but you don't want to lose the entire ship. Can you all hear him? Can I speak louder? I can be louder. She can't hear you back there. Alright, so ultimately everything on the ship is very compartmentalized. You'll see that we're going to have water tight doors that we're going to have to dog down. And that's so that if we're going to take battle damage of any sort, you need to be able to lock that space down if it's going to flood or if you're going to need to be able to do any kind of damage control. That way, you can save the ship. You're not necessarily going to save the compartment. Does anybody have any, any questions right now? Anything? Alright, so what's going to about to happen when you get you aboard? So we're, we're going to walk up. Cooper's gonna be, Mr. Cooper's gonna be last. What we need you to do is we need to go halfway up the brow. I need you to stand at attention and face after the ship, so face the instant. All right, just stand at attention real quick, address the instant, and then you're gonna keep moving, all right? Uh, at the quarter deck, when we get to the top of there, Stephen Hart, standing there at NWU, just say request Fishman to come aboard. All right, that's all you gotta say, request Fishman to come aboard. Honestly, you probably don't have to say it, but just to be proper, just say it, all right? Did you say board or ship? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ship. You notice it's blue, it's called the bullnose. Uh, 
ours is blue because two, three deployments ago? Yeah, it was like 2018. Three deployments ago, 2018, something like that. The ship went actually north of the Arctic Circle and spent a significant, significant amount of time up there. So by doing that, the whole crew gets to participate in a ceremony and our, our full note gets to be painted blue. Unlike everybody else's, who's a bunch of losers, there's yellow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so. people in there but the only thing the only way to save the ship is to shut that compartment we're gonna shut the compartment it's, it's kind of the sacrifice you have to do all this stuff like compared to other boys like is this like one of the bigger ones this is a small boy that's why i knew this is a smaller boy hey commander said not that you yeah they did not it was not it was not a good idea no i was thinking how like he salutes uh, like we turned in the middle of the thing. Ready to die? I know who it is. No. No. I wanted to see a barrack. We feel good in here. We got AC in here. Oh my god, why is it so steep? Oh, what the? Like boats, I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to slide down, though. Oh my god, it's windy. Hey, look how steep that is. Is there more? Oh my god. Y'all do this every day? I'm so scared. This is scary. Uh, yeah, that's not. As funny as I mean. I don't know where they are. Oh my god, be careful. Tell them to be careful. Bro, no, actually, don't. Uh, so, you definitely can't bring that in here. Oh. Alright, 
Ew. Yeah, you mean. How's it going? This is for a Reed's vlog. Good. How you liking the trip so far? I'm liking it. It's too hot though. It's too black for us. We gotta go back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Hey, how bad are we gonna beat Georgia's team in bowling? Oh, it's gonna be a ball. No part of ticket. It's gonna be a ball. It's gonna be a ball. Do you think your team's gonna win against me and Ross this team? Yeah. Do you think uh you're gonna win? Duh. Do you think it's gonna be a close game? No, my team's gonna win by like 100. So, uh, 200. No, I said. Say hey, Lola. No, I said hey the whole video. Hey, boss. Hola. <laughs> There's a punch machine. right now. Ross gonna punch this. And Dumont, he, he think he could punch. Oh wait, I'm not recording, hold on. He at it again, guys. Ooh. Damn. Hey, not Oh, y'all would've got like 500 to keep it real with you. Real OG though. Ah. You go there, meet me. You better get real active, oh, yeah. guys. It's gonna be me, her, me, her. <laughs> me and the Reed. All right, and let's post them up. Let's get posted up, guys. Are you recording on this? It don't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure. I'm sure. It don't matter about the run up. Just walk up. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's see what Dumont's on. That was a miss. Okay, okay. You pushing okay. eight? Can I go again? Yeah, but Alright, guys. Let's see if you're really about it. Let's see if you're really about it. I don't need it, bro. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. He like that. Mm -hmm. I don't need one. I don't need one. I don't need one. I don't need one. Oh, I missed. No. It's okay. No, damn. <laughs> Think it's bullshit. Y'all, I got it on video. I got it on <laughs> Okay. It's my last round. Damn. big dog. Keep the Not the head of the ways. I'm tired. I got a cramp. Oh. Redemption round. She don't eat it up, guys. She was just tripping. She was tripping. I don't, I don't know if she ever bowled before, but she's giving very much to me. Okay, you got one. 
Don't worry, yes. <laughs> Officer! <laughs> Officer! I'm recording you. Hi! Oh! Oh, she might eat! She might eat nothing. Nothing. Alright, hold on. <laughs> okay. Yurt. That's not good. Y'all, she did fabulous. Suck a lot. <laughs> Got a BJ in the house. Okay. Looks like roll. Oh. I got two in. Don't see what Barnes working with. Wait, he's telling we're leaving. What? 15 minutes. Oh. We have enough time. Yeah. Got some pizza, some drinks. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It's been a long day, and this pizza, this pizza. Oh, you wanna go half with nachos? How much nachos? Alright Ross, I heard something. I heard he lost. So um short. Yeah, so he was a half of the So solo. Oh, solo. Yeah, I lost. That's the team. We won. And it was only about three. It was 103 to 106. You need to get a bunch of shit in it, bro. I've been getting 900. When you do it again, let me know. Oh, they fighting. <laughs> that's all that's black on black cry. <laughs> you got all three of them, bro. Wait, you got, wait, where are y'all at? Wait, is it at Daddy's house? What? But that's not fair. She threw it in there. <laughs> Why you throw it? <laughs> look at look at this dude. Look at this. All right, y'all. Dickhead's about to roll. What did you say? I said you're about to roll. No, it's not what you said. Jigaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Jigaboo is crazy. <laughs> Nachos like this for 350. Ooh. Pure baby. Pure baby. Anyways, y'all have real food. A minute, it's been a day. And I gotta eat. So taste this. Why is it cold? <laughs> the cheese cold? Mm. That cold, but it's cold. Mm. <laughs> 
point three dollars. Rise and shine, besties. Rise and shine. Oh, again. I think it's the last time we're coming here too. This is vlog, bro. Good morning. This is Ryan. Again? This is the last time we're coming here. No, it's on the schedule every morning. People were really there about a break though. I mean, breakfast is fine, I guess. Alright, let's get some orange juice. The class is fit. Good morning, Reed. Uh, alright. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. They give it a little bit more than this. But <laughs> they call this bacon. I don't know why. She bought a Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. And she think I want it. You said you were gonna go back for seconds, so. Here's your seconds. Try those. I haven't tried them yet. Oh no, take that. Take that. Ooh, no. Child, child, no. She, ew, she tried to give me them, y'all. She's tripping. Take that, Marvin. Oh my god. Look at Marvin. Look at Especially oh, he 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 I believe it because you farted during PT there at school. Like one time. Come on, it was like twice. And school, yeah. The kid boy, We have, you know, we have Reed with um, this W romantic guy who, oh. who gave his jacket to the. Uh, so I put her name again. Oh, I'm not doing you know, that. Around her, oh. He literally, oh, he put, he literally oh. put his jacket around her neck. I'm not doing that. Around her neck. 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 Exactly. He saw it too, right? You saw it? It's gonna be a gentleman. What's your jacket? I ain't got no jacket, bro. The hell you? No, she's talking about Mola. Oh, Mola. 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 And then we got, um. We got her here. No, 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 no. Skip her. Because like yesterday, and like, then we have a Ross here. You know there's an app what? like recording and talking your sleep. No, I, I, I I'm swear. Sorry. We have, we have the oh, X. The X. Oh, here now. How are you feeling this beautiful morning? <laughs> what? You just said you broke your GoPro. What? You deserve that. No, I just cracked the side. How are you? I thought you were tired. Ty what was that though? I'm tired? Yeah, I'm tired. What are you excited about for the day? What are we doing today? I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna figure that one out. See you guys later. I don't know, you lying. We got a win. Oh, under this oh it's raining i don't have my jacket but look how pretty it is outside Work. Yeah, so pretty. Hey, you guys? Can I use this, please? Oh, you can get it no, back. No. I just need it for right now. That's your problem. You should have got your own. Y'all see this? Live on camera. He's not a gentleman. He's not a gentleman. <sighs> look at my beat and my friends. You have no people here. <laughs> my beers. Oh, 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 beers. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are your next step like that? Picture of me. That one, my man. That one, fine, bro. We about to share. No, I'm just kidding. We sharing today, what? It's good. We can get it. Get it. We're gonna be going on a ride on our 45 boat. It's called the Response Boat Medium. We can hold up to 24 people on it. It's got twin Detroit Series 60 engines. Um, pretty much just gonna. 
can go west, head to the Dames Point Bridge, and then come back. It's uh, pretty cool. It's, one, it's our offshore boat, so when we have SAR cases, search and rescue, we'll use that boat to go offshore. We could go up to 50 nautical miles east off the shore. <laughs> Alright, are we gonna board this ship? I'm so excited. It's been kind of far. Driving like this though. Like, <laughs> I think they're all switching out anyway. These Coast Guard men are kind of funny. Oh, right now, you guys switch on like a blue tattoo. I'm about to get one of their Instagrams. Coast Guard! Coast Guard! Just stand up. Grab somewhere, if y'all can grab it to something, hold on to something. <laughs> I recommend doing that. Not to someone. Put you up. I don't know. Y'all just gotta grip it, right? Yeah, yeah. I go fishing, so. Just grip it's it, right? It's Thank you. 
have our jets, which give us propulsion. That pretty much it. That's the whole that's belt. Photographer. And then BM2 Mullis right here is going to explain to you what you need to do.
but I speed out of them. How, how do you feel about your brother acting like that? You know, he caught all the water for me. I was right behind him. I didn't get that wet, but that's just like crazy. Susanna, you like a bob with two crazy kids. more to the yeah. scenery too. Oh wait. Guy love. Gonna go what? It's a guy love. With the toggle? Yeah. Crazy. No, this was already, already. I don't know. I was ready to go. I would say 10 out of 10 experience. Get that camera! Get the Coast Guard. So I call it a guess one. This is fun. Look at that. They better get on. It was fun! So fun! Do not stay on the side. No. This, that group, I don't know if they're coming back in on one piece. <laughs> yeah, that girl's full of super no, whoever got, whoever got wear right. Oh, nah, they're oh, cooked. Nah, wear and right. Like, cooked. I don't want to make us play like. Don't. Off now. You better turn that back around. Let's <laughs> 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 see that one. Watch your knee. Y'all got it? Bro, no, bro. Got the boat. Bro, Ruiz almost killed, like, lost everybody else. Okay, I'm not that bad of a she, she, like, she, like, stopped and it just stopped. And when you turn, you have to, like, turn gently. Oh, Commander. Yeah. I like when you're driving side to side with them. Everybody, no. your life jackets just drop it on the oh, floor. Oh, I really forgot I have this. No, where's the Hibbert too? His pants is soaking right wet. Right. Like, I think may or may not have done something. Y'all see his pants? It was raining. And they were speeding. Oh. <laughs> Hell, where did you get that? I, hit, I, I got that. I hit away. And it splashed him. Oh, who got splashed? Mike Campbell. Oh, oh. look. Come on, my mama loves it. Look. All the yeah. Look. Eventually. Oh, just all the rain. That was Bradley. Bradley did that. I don't know what. Y'all, we look crazy. I definitely like, like look Loca, what happened? <laughs> you too, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'll see my uh, to the station later. All right, this is our tour guide. What's your name? Uh, left, yes. I don't know his name. This is MK3 Macedo. Macedo. Seaman Diaz is myself. Yes. And Seaman Fisher. Fisher, okay. Oh, Fisher. <laughs> you're right. I'm not even going to say too much. All right. <laughs> around the edge and then the circle in there. Mm. Yeah, there's boats in charge of fixing those. Uh, yeah, and that's a, this one of the sea buoys. Those go offshore. It's not that big. <laughs> and that's a sea buoy tender. That's what it's called. I have a question. What's that? 
Like, what's the keeper of the first coast mean? Like, is it just that you guys, like, take care of the first coast, or? Oh, this one, this Florida was first coast back in the day when we were the first, uh, pioneers, there we go, uh, showed up to, uh, the, uh, America, we call it. And then, all this, the District 7 was the first coast from the, all the 13 colonies. So that's why it's called the first coast. So, and that's the buoy, the sea buoy tender. They're in charge to just fix the, those big buoys up shore. There's the anchor shop right here. This is where we work. NK, uh, NK, NK3 Travis and NK2 Valentine. Uh, we just do some repairs on the boats, maintenance on the engines and stuff like that. I don't know if you want to take a look in there. Oh, oh Lord. I, don't know if I think, I think we good. Hold on, I got y'all. Oh, oh, it's way. Oh my God. I want to look. <laughs> well, that was probably smart. <laughs> no, actually. Uh, it's fine. Well, I need to get this is the NK shop right here. So, this is the NK shop right here. We're trying to fix it, trying to clean everything up. Uh, we do a lot of maintenance in here. We take those, uh, those engines over there. We take them off and bring it over here. We put them in those little crates right here, and then we work on them. Uh, we got our tools, some hazmat stuff right here that we used to clean. Uh, some of the stuff, we put the oil and diesel and gas stuff in that locker. That's why we keep it out there. Uh, this is our office. A little office right here, we have another one at the station. But then we do some test teams for the oils to see uh, how good the, the oil quality is on the boats. And then that's pretty much it. That's like the science type of thing in there. Uh, right there, we have a little storage unit and also our, uh, we call it head. It's the bathroom for, for y'all. We call it head mm -hmm. for us. Wait. So we're gonna have to do what? He said we have to pray in the corner. What? <laughs> Hold up. What's this? Boatsman's hold, boatsman's main. The boatsman's main are the drivers in the Coast Guard. So this is uh, their this is their office pretty much. So we have computers right here. This is to sign in and do our trainings. We'll have online trainings. Also do administrative work, uh, file out paperwork. Have to make an appointment with the dentist. You could do pretty much all of that on these computers here. This office here is one LT. First lieutenant. First lieutenant. Mm -hmm. This is our. Big guy. This is, this is the big man, this is the big guy. So this is pretty much the head of the whole deck department here at this unit, which is BM1 lines, Petty Officer lines. And this is pretty much all our stuff. So we have a big paint project. I don't know if y'all saw when you guys came in, but we're repainting the, the whole roofing of the base. So we have our paint stuff here. We got shackles, lots of tools. We got extra line here when we splice line. And this is pretty much the main central area for work and getting work things done. We even have pieces of non-skid there and those brown rolls right there. When you guys got on the boats, those those um, sandpaper those sandpaper feeling things on your feet. It's called non-skid. So those are the non-skid there. We've been replacing those. Got washer fluid there, first aid kits, cleaning supplies here. So this is pretty much our main office. It's like. Hey! Oh, oh my god! Can I touch it? 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 <laughs> uh, sorry, so we're not gonna be able to go in here. He's uh, MB1 is doing an interview right now. Oh. Uh, this is the MB Bay. We call it maritime specialist, law enforcement specialist. Uh, yeah, like police cops and all that stuff. 
they in charge of uh, like a lot of paperwork, law enforcement, like she was saying, uh, and some. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going that way. Oh. And then some uh, secret stuff. Mm. Yeah, what's up with these and dollars and stuff? Oh, he called it. Can I touch this one? <laughs> Really nice, I promise. Hey, baby. So are these like your personal pets? What's that? Is this your personal pets? We just saw another one. So. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, baby. But like, is it like the... I don't think he people? likes you guys. Is it your dog? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's my dog. And you can bring it to work? <laughs> yeah. Bring her to work? Usually, uh, I'll, bring her, I'll bring her usually on Fridays. Cause it's like, Ooh. it's kind of quiet, slowed down. So yeah. she likes to come and see the people. Yeah, What's her name? Aria? She doesn't know like they're at. No, she's forgetting. Like, <laughs> so this is the office. This is where okay. our us. This is where we work. Me and the other in case. This is the AAPO assistance engineer pretty officer. And then this is the EPO. This is the engineer pretty officer's office. Uh, like, like Simon Diaz was saying, we do some maintenance uh, paperwork in here. We log everything after we do blood checks. We come and log everything in here, make sure everything is good to go. <laughs> they don't like Taylor. <laughs> 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 yeah, we could. Nice part. <laughs> we keep some tools and parts right there, and that's that's pretty much it. Dale, stop looking at it. It's probably scary. I'm gonna go upstairs. Bye, baby. Uh, Alright, y'all. We touring this place. I don't really know where we're going. Oh, we could be getting. Who is this? <laughs> well, Pez, how did you like that, like, boat thing? Oh, oh. What's going on? What's going on here? It's kind of like. It's cute. This position, the CO or XPO, <laughs> We're so good. it comes with knowledge and time reserve. And uh, I'm about to leave here in a couple months. So, so if you remember in the presentation, so I can't Hello. 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 Hello.